Hello and welcome back to another Tweak Around video. In this video we're going to be talking about shielded and unshielded interconnects. Right, I've made two mock-ups of an unshielded and a shielded interconnect, analog interconnect. Right, so basically this is your shielded one. Um, what we've done is we've got two silver conductors, we've insulated them with PTFE tape and then we twisted them together and then after that we've covered it in a tinned copper braid with this one this is the unshielded cable basically we use a piece of paper piping cord in the center we then cover the piping cord in PTFE tape then basically we wrap each conductor round the cable um, and then basically um, use PTFE tape at both ends. People have commented on my unshielded analog interconnects that you've missed the shielding out and also say you can't make unshielded cables, they're rubbish. I say to these people, have you tried them? Most people don't reply. Now there's a place for unshielded and shielded in analog interconnects. Right, we're going to talk about unshielded analog interconnects first. Unshielded analog interconnects work best on CD players, music streamers and things like cassette decks. Basically they make the sound sound more open than the shielded analog interconnects and you get a lot more airiness around the sound. Right now we're going to talk about shielded interconnects. Shielded interconnects are best used on turntables where unshielded interconnects don't work. Unshielded interconnects on turntables don't work because they suffer from interference. Basically it's all about using the best materials to get the best sound when you make your analog interconnects. I find that mainstream manufacturers that produce interconnects over design their product so they can justify the prices that they charge. All my cables use high quality materials and I don't skimp on anything. So why don't you try making a set of my unshielded interconnects? You'll be surprised with the results over the shielded, especially on your CD player, your music streamer or something like your cassette deck. I hope this video was uh, was helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.